Hello, 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 YouTube. I thought, oh, I was bored. And uh, I do have some LP segments uh, sitting around waiting to be uploaded and well, edited and uploaded. And I'm planning on recording some more this weekend. But I thought until I get around to that, I would just do another random video like I did yesterday. What, what, what I do want to, what I wanted to look at, though, was uh, YouTube Insight. That, that's one of the cool features of YouTube. They added like a couple years ago, I think. I don't know how long ago. It's one of the cool features you have. You, you, you can view statistics about your YouTube accounts. And I always love looking at the YouTube Insights, the Insight page of uh, other users, and see what their statistics are like. So, so I thought I would do the honors and uh, show you mine. Oh, and while I'm here, just poke around YouTube. I noticed right here it says apply for partnership. But if you go to my videos page, all of a sudden they start calling it monetization. They're not very consistent with their terminology. But yeah, you can search right here. Click. And you can view all the fun statistics about my YouTube account. Obviously, the only statistics are the one that can go from October 2007. It's when they started tracking, but they didn't have the feature back then, I think. I don't know when they added it. But, yeah, this graph right here is a nice, simple view of uh, the view counts. You have views per day. You'll notice some interesting things. as a spike about once per year. You may be wondering what that's about. That is for my Happy Pi Day video. Every Pi Day, its view count spikes up about 10,000 or 20,000 even last time views per day, which is pretty awesome. I always look forward to that. It makes a cool little spike on the Insight page. And this used to be my most viewed video with nearly 500,000, but then the LP sort of exploded. And actually, in like the past few months, really, View count has exploded. When is that? Right there. Yeah, it's June. Last half of year ish. I'm getting more views per day than I have on any of the spikes ever, especially that tiny one. See, I think this is on a weekend, this one right here. Because when it's on a weekend, then people aren't in school and they don't care about Pi Day because the teachers don't tell them that Pi Day exists. It's March 14th, in case you didn't know. 3.14, Pi Day. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you can see right here my most viewed videos over this time span. Happy Pi Day. So I uploaded the OP. Oh, yeah, and congratulations. This video used, to, in fact, I'll show you on the My Videos page. Second. Again, this is going to be horribly disorganized. Congratulations. This was my most viewed video. Oops. This was my most viewed video for a long time. 400,000. It was the first video I, I got the uh, apply for partnership for monetization on this. Uh, and it was a terrible video. Uh, Tamashi Hiroka. Uh, the hacker. You, Pokemon hacker, that is. She, she was one of the first people I watched on YouTube back when I had like seven subscribers. And we were having a contest on a profile to see who could get the uh, 1,000th comment. Actually, she still has an account. And I just made this video for whoever, for the person who won it. don't even remember who it was. And it somehow got 400,000 views. And it kind of sucks. So I turned on collaborative annotations, which ended... Oh, it's X Devilish X. That was the winner. But yeah, that sort of failed horribly. People kept posting racist stuff. And apparently... What people post on collaborative annotations is enough to get your video taken down. For terms of use violation, I didn't know that was possible. But yeah, Tomashi Hiroka. Tomashi Hiroka. I don't know why I'm doing this. Pokemon the hack. She's what inspired me to do Pokemon hacks initially. And she has more subscribers than me, but I have more upload views. Ah, ha ha! I win. And actually, she blocked me. Eventually. Oh wait, D did she? Did it? She did. But... Ah, whatever. <laughs> Just subscribed to. Anyway, how much time have I wasted? Five minutes. Now back to insight. 
So it's, again, random rambling video. Don't expect any sort of organization to it. So, uh, views. Let's look at detailed statistics about the views. Again, huge spike. Let's see. I, I haven't looked at all of these. Uh, yeah, popularity, though. Uh, not only has my account become more popular, kind of, but YouTube itself has exploded. So the spike's still still there when you look, view it by uh, views versus total views on YouTube. It's it's still higher, but it's not higher than the spikes. And uh, if you look at the region, is, is, do they show regions later? But yeah, you can see most of my views are in the net, the uh, English speaking world. United States, Canada, little tiny bit of England, some Australia. Not really much elsewhere, like Japan, get a couple hundred views, Russia, I don't know, I'm just clicking red ones, sort of. Brazil, I actually have quite a lot from Brazil. Yeah, uh, worldwide, please stop doing this. Location, oh, there you go. So yeah, just a heat map. Uh, Discovery, this is probably the most interesting tab. Of, I have 7 million total upload views. And half of them come from related videos, and that's about the same on most of my videos. And for some reason, mobile devices, which is weird. This is not really weird at all on mobile devices, about 20%. Then, uh, YouTube channel pages, that's interesting. Wait, this is... Yeah, this this is when people link directly to a video, and I don't know how I have 500,000 views from people linking directly to my videos. Uh, YouTube search, that makes sense. External website, 61,000. That's probably a lot of that is from related videos on, like, uh, embedded YouTube players. I need to keep track of the time. Uh, embedded, yeah. Oh, <laughs> apparently that's its own separate thing now. Uh, channel pages again, Google searches, which is interesting. Then featured videos, I think that's like when you're featured on your channel. A subscription modules, that, that's unusually low. And apparently I have 43 views from YouTube advertising, which I've never done. Whoops, buy an ad. Uh, I, c I can't click. Would you go to that? Yeah, it's anyway. You can promote your videos somewhere. There's a link to do it. Is it on this page? Yeah, promote your videos. Ads. YouTube. Oh, ad block is like blocking this page. Oops. Uh, let's see on this page. Refresh. Yeah, you can launch an ad for your YouTube video, which is kind of pointless if you aren't getting paid for it. Which I'm not, yet. And, uh, demographics. Unsurprisingly, the majority is male, some female, understandably. It's kind of unusual. It's the large percentage of uh, 35 to 44 year olds watching this, but that's probably from people just faking their age on their account which a lot of people in my actual demographic do, with ones like below it. And so yeah, a community. You people do not comment. I don't get many comments. That makes me sad. I like comments. I actually do have email notifications. No idea why I got a notification for that. But I get notifications for every single comment and every single subscription and every single uh, message and everything. I don't read all of it, but I do for all the uh, newer videos and such. So, yeah. I, I like it when people comment. I get far too many comments on like Battle for Bikini Bottom Part 1, which I really don't care about. So yeah, a ton of comments on Happy Pi Day. In fact, let me just uh, YouTube. Happy. It is. It, it's, it's actually like the first result for Pi Day. I'll, I'll do that too. Google searches. Pi Day. Yeah, Happy Pi Day is the second result. Sometimes it's the first. It really all depends. Oh yeah, Rever. Rever doesn't even exist anymore. 
yeah, it has two and a half thousand comments. Also, when you search for uh, the battle for bikini bottom, this is really interesting. My video is the first result. It isn't always. It has two million views. If you look further down, there's more results from me. Use two different LPs, both of which have pretty much the same thumbnail. And uh, it, it used to be really up high in the results, but it isn't anymore for some reason. But there's another LP that has like 4 million views. It's like a camcorder LP, and has the same thumbnail as mine. Yeah, here's my uh, playlist. That's the 10 minutes. Rambling. That's kind of the point. Well, let, let's do this. Let's search for Let's Play, actually. In quotes, specifically. I've, I've done this a few times. It's kind of interesting. And sort by view count. Yeah, this is the guy's LP. You see, it has the same thumbnail as mine. Except his has 4 million views. Mine is 2 million. His was 3 years. Mine is 2 years. Well, actually, the first results that are actually Let's Plays, that didn't used to be the case. Maybe if I do it without the uh, apostrophe. Yeah, there are more Let's Plays without the apostrophe. Of course, yeah, this is what I did before, but then our videos don't show up without the uh, quotes. But it's still really high up there, even if we do count these. But of course, YouTube isn't the most uh, common place for Let's Plays, and a lot of people don't use the term Let's Plays, like Yogg's Cast, they don't, even though they are still technically Let's Plays. Of course, there's something awful forms, of course, we have to count factor in those. But it is cool, having one of the, the uh, most viewed Let's Play videos on YouTube, 2 million views. Not that it's a good video, or that people watch it because it's, you know, interesting. Oh god, what, what's most used in uh, it's pie, just on this video. And, uh, subscribers actually added this. I was about to say recently, but clearly in 2009. Which, for me, YouTube is fairly recently. Been on YouTube for five years. Which is kind of awesome. And, yeah. Lose some subscribers occasionally. It's no big deal. I've nearly 2,000 subscribers. Which, actually, most of my views don't come from my subscribers. Which is why random videos like this don't actually get that many views. Compared to the LP segments with, like, 10,000 views for some reason. I'm gonna make this a two part video. I like rambling like this. Yeah, nearly 2,000 views. My channel page is fairly pointless. There's not much on it. Uh. Alright, I was gonna look at this as well. Comments. You people don't comment. I said this before. Two people don't comment. Let's compare this. We have two videos right here. They both have about 20,000 views. But the one that's a Let's Play has 15 comments. The one that's a random viral video has 162. You people don't comment on Let's Plays. I, I like comments. I know it's kind of weird to like YouTube comments, but I like comments. And, uh, nah, while I'm doing things, I want to look at the, uh, insight pages for a specific video. Oh god, don't play this. Do not play this video. Uh, insight stats. Yeah, as you can see. Oh wow, it really has just this video alone. So just this video, not everything. It has exploded in stats. And Discovery, again, this is uh, primarily from related videos, but also YouTube search is a big part. People searching for SpongeBob SquarePants, it's very strange, since it's like nowhere near the top in the results of Spongebob Squarepants. Probably on page like 50 or something. Or not. Okay. That's new. Whatever. Uh, demographics, again, this is the same. Hot spots. Yeah, this, this shows how much attention people are paying to you. Well, no, 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 don't click this. And it's very low. Once people click the video, realize, oh my god, this is a Let's Play, I don't want to see it, and then they turn it off. And then the later segments have higher audience attention. And I'm running out of time. Yeah, I might record another video of this. I kind of like rambling. See you next time. Or not. Suspense!